morning. I am just in bed. It's about seven o'clock. I am just doing a little bit of work, a bit of editing and some stuff. I'm just watching CNN with the, um, with the uh, American presidential elections yesterday. Or well, actually, still now for America because they're so far behind where I am. I'm just kind of watching what's going on. I have a feeling that Trump might win. It's a disaster. But I'm gonna get up now, I think, and go for a little run. I can't be bothered again. I haven't been bothered the last couple of days. And if I hadn't upset that I was gonna go every day in November, I definitely would have quit by now. But yeah, I'm gonna get up. Let's go. I'm quite tired. Ooh. I'm just on my run, and of course, it started flipping raining, hasn't it? Hopefully, it doesn't belt down like yesterday. I have to run faster. Try and get home before it does. I don't think I'll manage it. The rain held off. I kind of wish I hadn't though, because, oh my goodness, I'm so warm, the rain would have been nice cooling me down. Oh. Stephen has only just woken up, it's like five to ten, so I went down, to breakfast is only served until ten o'clock, so I went downstairs and asked if I could bring it up. And it just made me this nice little tray of food up in the room. That's nice, isn't it? And I took into this. We are finally out, or oh, well, we're just leaving anyway. It takes forever to get out of the hotel with this one. He's so lazy, he just lies around in bed watching videos, and he's a nightmare. But we're finally out. We're gonna go and buy a sim card because I didn't do it yesterday. I think the plan for today, after buying the sim card, is really just kind of have a little mooch around. Hoi An ancient town and just have a little explore and also I want to book a tour for tomorrow to go to my son my son I think that's how you um, pronounce it looks it's looks a bit like Angkor Wat if you Angkor Wat probably more famous it looks a little bit like that so that should be good I want to try and book that they do two tours you like a sunrise one which leaves at 6 a.m. which personally I would like to do on 8 a.m. one I know which one he wants to do not sure which one we'll do in the end. somewhere to get my sim card it costs i think it's slightly more expensive or a lot more expensive than the previous one i got it's 320 dong which i have no idea how much that costs but i seem to think that i only paid like 150 dong last time for 30 days all hooked up got a new sim card it's working, we think we couldn't get it working at first, but we finally have done. And I've just seen a sign for an ATM, we need an ATM. Yep. Get some more money. See that man behind us? Oh, you can't see him. Just there. He thinks he's my brother. Do we look like brother and sister? No. <laughs> I don't think we quite do, but that's a nice little compliment, isn't it? Just booked our trip to my son tomorrow. It costs like six dollars each just for the like the transport there and back. And you have to like get your ticket when you're there. I think it costs a hundred thousand once you get there. But it leaves at like 7.45. Stephen's gonna have trouble getting up in the morning. <laughs> We're just at the market now. We've done a little wander through where I ran through the other morning. We do get in some fruit and stuff, like some bananas and some bits. It stinks every so often, like you go through like a little fish bit or something and it stinks. <laughs> through the market and bought some bits of food with some bananas and mangoes, dragon fruit and some papaya. So that'll be nice. We're gonna not eat out today and just eat fruit and stuff for the rest of the day. We're gonna sort of slowly wander back home just to drop the food off. It's even boiling. I honestly didn't realise it was so hot. I think I need to change my top into a vest top. Absolutely boiling today. It's honestly too hot to be doing anything today. I wish the beach was a little bit closer, but we could just walk to it because definitely, I feel I would be headed right now if it was closer. 
I don't think I'm capable. Would you want to be going to the beach yourself? It's like, I don't think I'm actually capable of doing anything in the heat. I think when it's sunny, when it's warm like this, and it's honestly absolutely boiling. When it's warm like this, I just want to sit on a beach or play in the sea or go in a pool or I'm not capable of wandering around or sightseeing or doing anything really. Come on, let's go. We've been back at the hotel for quite a little bit now and we're gonna head back out where we were, but Stephen is hiding. Come on, let's go. Um, I forgot to put my battery on charge as well, so this will probably die whilst we're out. I just put it on charge now for like 30 seconds to give it a bit of a, before we get. This is definitely the busiest time of day in Vietnam in terms of like the roads. So half past four, I think like all the kids finish school and it's just mayhem on the roads at this time. It's just full of bikes. The way they travel around as well, you don't know if you can see them, but they pick up their kids from school. Sometimes they have like three kids on their bike and like the kids haven't got helmets on or anything. It's madness. We kind of just really wandering around. That's like the best thing to do in Hoi An is just kind of wander around and like discover little things. That's my favourite thing to do. But yeah, it has. It's just started raining, so I think we might have to duck in somewhere for a drink or something because we don't want to get soaking. We're gonna brave it. We don't think it's gonna lash down. We'll just see. If it does, we'll just run for cover and buy a place where there's loads of places where we can just grab a drink or whatever. We're just setting up the night market here. I didn't realise it was a night market, I thought it was here all the time, but then I ran down it this morning and was like, oh, there's no market here. It must be a night market. We're walking down to the other side of the little island bit, because I want to see if I can catch the sunset. I didn't tell Stephen that. I lured him over here with Pokemon, said there was a Pokestop over here. But really, I wanted to come over to see if I can catch the sunset. We are a little bit early for sunset, but it's still pretty nonetheless, and I'm pretty sure this one won't let me stay here until it sets, will you? Because <laughs> he's miserable. Behind the clouds, maybe. Can you hear all that cheeping? It's all the birds inside this tree. Whoa, there must be loads of them. I haven't seen any. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're little tiny ones. It's gotten dark now. We've been wandering around for quite a while. We're going to head back. We're going to have a night in, I really want to go out with something to eat, but I am trying to save money desperately a little bit. So we're going to go back home, eat some of the fruit that we bought this morning at the market and have an early night, I think, really, because we're up early for um, our trip tomorrow for my son. It isn't just fruit for tea, I forgot. We bought this um, noodle thing. We're going back to our Chinese times where we just ate noodles, or Stephen just ate noodles. Oh, is it noodles? Is it? Yeah, it's noodles. So we're going to share that and have some fruit. And also look what else I bought. Some beans. We're going to have a dinner of baked beans each. Cold baked beans, but actually I prefer cold baked beans than hot baked beans to be honest. Some cold baked beans, some um, noodles and fruit. That's what tea is. Tea on a budget today. Random weird stuff. I'm gonna end the vlog here because we're just gonna chill out for the rest of the evening. We need an early night, like I said, because we're gonna get up early tomorrow morning. So thanks for watching today. I hope you've had a wonderful day, whatever you've done, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.